Most women must hit that point where they're exhausted and can't carry on. But myself, I think I'll give myself a couple of minutes of feeling like that and then think, Helen, come on, this isn't doing you any good. You've got to, there's an outcome here and then it'll all be over. Hello, good morning. Hi, Helen. Hi, Hi I'm Rachel. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. Good morning. Oh. I'm just going to have a little feel of your bump and listen to baby. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We did this yesterday, last night. We've been here before. I'm so tired. It's been okay. I'm not worry. I'm just hoping, like, if I'm good, if I have dilated, if I could have my waters broke or anything. Okay. <laughs> when did they start again? I said, my goodness. Oh, about, I went to bed last night, about 10 o'clock. They were, like, every five to seven minutes, but really, like, so strong. I was like that in bed. Really? I'm sick of them so just give it a minute. Starting. Just let, just let yourself settle in, and we'll just see if they come back a little bit when you're a bit more relaxed. I don't like being unorganised. I can see on your notes the position of your baby. Does someone explain? what they felt on examination, that maybe baby's back is towards your back. I do like to have a plan and sort of stick to it. So it might be trying to wiggle into a good position and sometimes that's what makes this starty, stoppy thing happen. Really? So, so, what we'll do, first of all, listen to baby, feel your bump, and then we'll assess you. <laughs> Take it from there, OK? Sorry. She doesn't have the patience to wait. She will just get on with it. When she wants to change her car, she will just go and change her car. Just have a little feeling, sorry, hands, mm -hmm. please. If she's made her mind up, she will go and do it. So what have you got already? A boy. Mm -hmm. How long ago was your boy? He's five. Five? That's a big gap. Mm -hmm. Started school and then this happened. Yeah. Yeah, my last birth with my son was quite horrendous. It was extremely painful. I had drugs, I was completely put out. I can't remember much of it at all. And I want this time to be completely different. I want to um, remember it as uh, the memorable experience that it is. It's Marcus the same, back to back. Yeah. OK, thanks. OK, hon. I think once I go into labour, I'll be keen then to get a show on the road, get assessed, know where I, where I am in my labour, and the plan. I need the plan of action. Marcus. Have you got a yeah. Marcus dad? Is your name Mark. better dad? Mark. Yes. Yeah, so Is he Mark with a C or okay? You see, yeah. I've got a Mark with a C. Oh, have you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he should be enough. So I think he'll probably take my little boy to school and then yeah. he'll come. Lots of mums that have had a harder time with their first baby will worry for the whole pregnancy about their second. <gasps> right, I will see you whenever you think you need to come back. OK. Um, but sometimes her anxiety about the first labour will prevent her second baby, you know, her second labour from going smoothly. She'll be really, really anxious, and then in that case, her body won't labour very well. There isn't much to do before eight o'clock down there, but if you want to go round the grounds and put your coat on, you can see that. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. yeah. Get some fresh air. So it's my job then to just calm her down, just reassure her that just because something happened last time, no two labours are the same. It doesn't mean it's going to happen again. <laughs> Shuffle and you can come in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> Morning. This is Joe. Joe's the fresh face because I've been told mine's awful by everyone that's come oh. in the office so far. So <laughs> it must be time for bed. So I've told her all about you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank Helen's the boss in the house. I'm probably more like the child than my son is, to be honest with you, when I come home. And I lay up straight on the couch and I don't want to move. She gets the whip out and drives you round the house, taking I'm off all those jobs that need doing, but she tries to. She does try to. Do you think you'll have any more? Not sure. Mark wants one more. <laughs> Only a man can say that, can't he? I know. Football team. I know. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. Well, Mark's. Um, I only got him and his brother, and, he, and Mark's best friends with my brother. That's how I met him. Oh, really? When we started going out together, my brother wasn't happy at all. Um, at first, he was just like, no, downright no. He said, you know, he's one of my best friends. It'll ruin our friendship. 
Hello. Got a surprise for you. Hi, Mark. Hi, yeah. You Hi, must yeah. be Mark. Yeah. Hi, Mark. I'm Jeff. Oh, nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Look knackered. And nice. I know, when he's put me to bed. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, <laughs> you look knackered. Yeah. And nice. Mr. Panics. <laughs> <laughs> Mark was my brother's friend. I'd always seen him come and go. I was quite determined that I would, you know, pinch his number off my brother's phone. Do you want to go easy on that? Helen actually made the first move. She texted me, and I thought it was her brother winding me up to test me, to be honest. So I didn't respond to that for a while. Oh, yeah. I didn't seem too bad. <laughs> Slowly but surely, she'll just keep on tapping at that rock until it, until it cracks. So, yeah. The plan that Helen's got in her mind, it, it'll happen one way or the other. There is never such thing as a perfect birth plan. Um, there's birth ideas. There's not and worse when you get in them lifts, though, and you think it's going to get stuck, and you're like, yeah, oh, when you drag someone up from downstairs. And <laughs> when we went for that lady before, I had one glove on. What, what are we going to do? <laughs> one glove. You can read every book, but your baby hasn't read the book, and unfortunately, it's the baby that's going to rule when it comes to, to labour. When they're gonna come, they're gonna come, kids. <laughs> it's the way it is. It's a little bit on the warm side, that pool. I need to cool it down a little bit, just, just for the sake of the baby. Can we just leave the hot tap off for the next couple of contractions, just because that water's quite warm? Don't be giving me that titty lip. <laughs> <laughs> for the first couple of months of trying for a baby number two, I was quite relaxed about it, but that soon changed when we couldn't get pregnant. I then started to get obsessed about it. She was going through pregnancy tests like you wouldn't believe. Thankfully, you can find them quite cheap these days, like otherwise. We just, we just spent half our mortgage on them, I think. Like... Mark works away, so I was like, right, you're gonna, you're gonna have to come home tonight. You're gonna have to. I'm, I'm obvi I could be ovulating tonight. You know, he'd come home, um, do the deeds, I'd go to work. The size of feet. <laughs> I could cry now thinking about. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> um, yeah, I just can't wait to hold on now. That moment of being given your baby for the first time. That's what that's what what we're here for. This is what we've been trying for for the past two years, and all I want to do is is get a home, and then everything's over and we can relax and really begin then. <laughs>